Now, I think we all know um, that exercise does help you live longer, but the question is why? That's what I want to dig into today. So endurance running, okay, it's in our genetics. Uh, number one, acquiring food, and number two, avoiding being the food being chased by a tiger, right? So it's in our genes, it's a survival mechanism. Our genes over time have adapted to anything increasing our survival, okay? So when you exercise, all sorts of really cool things happen. Well, let's first look at the number one cause of death on this planet, it's cardiovascular disease. So anything done to improve cardiovascular health would extend your life. Now, there's a very interesting study, I'll put the link down below, that, that compared two things, uh, people that did physical activity versus inactivity, okay? And they also looked at all-cause mortality. And they found that the group that did physical activity decreased their mortality by 30 to 40%, adding an additional five years to their life. So that's pretty cool. But why? Well, there's five reasons. Number one, when you exercise, you increase oxygen. And oxygen is part of circulation. It brings in nutrients. It pulls out waste. And we know that hypoxia, which is the lack of oxygen, creates um, necrosis. It creates death of nerve cells. And so the more oxygen, the better the tissues are going to survive. All right, number two, physical activity decreases inflammation. And there's definitely a correlation between inflammation and causing insulin resistance, inflammation and having cancer spread, inflammation and more stress on your body. Number three, increasing parasympathetics. Now, what is the parasympathetics? That's the opposing system to the flight or fight mechanism. It's a system that is active when you're trying to relax and you're trying to sleep and you're trying to digest. And so if you're weak in your parasympathetics, you're going to be weak in your recovery. So uh, like even when your heart contracts, it contracts and relaxes, right? You have the contraction, which is the sympathetics, and then the relaxation is the parasympathetics. Even when you exercise and then you stop exercising, the parasympathetics kick in there and help calm you down or help recover you, help you sleep. All right, number four, physical activity decreases insulin resistance. And we all know what that does. It increases insulin and insulin resistance is behind probably the majority of major health problems on this planet. And number five, physical activity increases growth hormone. Growth hormone is activated by several things. One would be fasting. Another one is actually a, consuming a moderate amount of protein. But when you exercise, especially when you do intense intermittent exercise, it will help you spike growth hormone. And growth hormone is the anti-aging hormone. So it might be good if you start to include a routine physical exercise in your busy lifestyle. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today. Hey, before